um, so I'm sitting here in my uh, little seat for my uh, driving sim and I got the phone right back in my face so hopefully it's not too loud or picking the mic up too much anyway what I'm gonna do I'm gonna rip this whole thing apart right now and over the next few days I'm gonna rebuild it I'm gonna veneer the uh, aluminum surface with uh, Brazilian cherry and remove a bunch of switches and stuff so just to point out what I'm gonna do uh, down here I have a speaker and over here I had a speaker but I took the center out of my um, G29 wheel and I mounted it on here so I saw the functionality because I have this steering wheel on here and it doesn't you know no way to put all those buttons on it and um, what I'm gonna do over here um, on this panel I got these little micro switches and they're really annoying they're just tiny little things so I'm gonna put six switches like this bigger ones over there nice momentary switch switches so I'm gonna put six in here so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go one two three four five six. oops I'm wild with my finger around I can't see what I'm doing six and then underneath it down here is gonna go a little two inch clock and over here I'm gonna mount my stream deck which is down there so I'm gonna put it in the panel off to the right and then I'm gonna take the ignition switch down there I'm going to put it over here, right about here somewhere. And I might put another switch or two in here. I don't know. We'll see what we got. And I'm going to keep the little panel here because I was thinking of doing gauges. But the thing about this is if I do racing, like racing sim stuff, I just change the dashboard. And on here you can see we got a 4,000 RPM tack, or it's like 30, 3,200, which, you know, for driving ATS stuff. And so if I put in fixed gauge, I don't want to put a 10,000 or 9,000 RPM tack and then just watch a little wee sweep in the left corner uh, so that I could do both. So, and I like this setup. It's good. You know, everything's there. And then I like to use the dashboard in the truck more than this. I really use this if I get out and I'm driving from an outside view and keep an eye on my speed and stuff because I don't like to have an overlay on the screen. So anyway, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to, uh, I got to actually run to the hardware store. There's one thing I forgot and I got to go get it right away because I'm going to take this thing out. I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to show you that, what it looks like all apart because it's, oh, uh, it's fairly big. It's bolted to this desk. It's got, I got four bolts holding it in, but I'm going to get uh Schluter edge because I'm putting on a quarter inch uh, Brazilian cherry plywood so I'm going to put a Schluter edge around it uh, so it finishes it off nicely so I don't have a, a raw wood edge on the exposed so I didn't even think of that you know darn I was at the hardware store yesterday so I'm going to go do that and I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you the uh, I'll start videoing the, the tear down so this is the before and that's what's there now and we're going to Start ripping and tearing, and then we'll do an after. Anyway, um, there we go. Okay, so here's the uh, dash panel removed. And see where that speaker was? And this is where the, uh, on the right here, these brackets, that's right about the center from the G29. And we'll go around the back. This is the uh, right-hand tablet mount here. On there, in the back, I'll do an overview here. So you can see all the wiring and stuff in the back. And we'll go over here. So there's one Leo Bodner board. And the good thing about these ones is they do, um, it's got uh, lots of good stuff in there. Really good for the, uh, lots of um, spots for potentiometers. Or uh, rotary encoders rather. So that's a good one. Those two bigger switches are the air brake switches. And there's the ignition switch going to get moved. That bracketry in there, don't need it anymore. We're going to take that out. That was for the speaker. Over here, let's see. There's the other Leo Bodner board. And it goes to both sides of the panel. There's an Arduino board. So this one does just simple off and on signals. And that's the left-hand side of the panel. Uh, let me, yeah, and you can see on top that 
box I made has <clears throat> got the LED strip in it. And go back over here. This is the connection to my shifter. Just a DB9 connector. Goes into that Leo Bodner. Go back around here. And over here. This is the control for the uh, for the lights. Like you get a little button on the, oh, it's on the other end of it. And uh, I got the, uh, it actually is powered by my monitor. So that's kind of handy. So when the monitor turns on, the light turns on. So another thing, let me sit down here for a sec. So I hogged this out, like you can see the background here for that stupid Thrustmaster wheel that I really hated. So I've made a pattern to make the wood fit my uh, Thrustmaster, or my um, Logitech again. Man, I didn't like that wheel. I don't, maybe I got a dud, but it was bad. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you down here. Oh yeah, so here I got this little bracket here. I got four of them to mount that light fixture. And I was thinking, what am I going to do about that? And actually, I'm just going to take them off. I'll, I'll make the brackets a little nicer, like I'll round those corners off. And I just mount them on top of the uh, wooden panel. And it'll bring this out the same distance it is now relative to the board. And I'll just put screws in to put them back on. So that's basically it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking it all apart. I'll uh, set the camera up on a tripod. And maybe what I'll do is just fast motion through it. So anyway... A um, couple other things. You can see on the back how I hold it down. So I just made all this stuff out of a, uh, it was a um, computer case, a big one, that I had for a long time. It was like a, almost a mid, t no, it was a, almost like a home server size. Anyway, you can see I just made these brackets and you can't, I don't know, I get the shadow in the way. There's three bolts on each side. You probably see where the bolts go there. So three bolts on each side hold it to the desk and it makes it really rigid and it's all a pop riveting to get all the bits together because like I say I didn't have exactly what I needed here and there so I just had to take bits and do what I could with it and uh, hey, it was free so anyway I'm probably going to paint this I'm thinking of painting this thing here black but it's got that nice brushed finish on it so I don't know maybe I'll leave it can always paint it later. So anyway, okay, here we go. So I'll start by taking these switches off and I'm going to mark what hole they came out of because these ones up here will be going back in. This one's gonna be six. See, these are double acting switches, so up is one function, is down is another. That's why there's uh, three wires. Okay. <laughs> I want to put this on the cap of the pen. Don't. Okay. Now, we're going to have to unsolder these ones down in here. These have to be unsoldered because uh, they come out that way. So, let's see if we got any heat in this thing yet. Better get myself in here. Let's see what I'm doing. I'll be able to tell where these go by the length. It doesn't matter which side of the switch 
it's on because these this is what's so simple about this thing it's just make or break so So the way this works is this just goes to uh, the board, that little board, and it sends a pulse. And it's plugged in via USB, and the USB signal is recognized on the computer, which feeds it on through to the uh, our um, game, you know, the game uh, software. So let's see, anything over here need to be unsoldered. Oh, yeah, these switches up here can be a little tough to get at. So let me bring this up. Take this. I'd like to love to change these knobs for something more authentic looking. The paint's long since wearing off of them. Let's get this ignition switch out of here too. I have a little wrench for that up here. Don't. Yeah, it's power. Okay, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go get a wrench for that. Okay, we're back. This ignition switch disconnected. Okay, losing that. This is a real bummer wiring this ignition switch up from when it's installed. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. And I'm not worried about getting this through there. Well, I guess it'll be all right. Turn that right in. Yeah, it may work. Yeah, good. That's a real one I had to get from Napa. This is the one I bought on Amazon as garbage. So now we just gotta get these wires unsolid. Just being able to grab with this little pair of pliers here instead of burning my hand. This is not a pair, I should have some needle ones. Definitely the wrong pair of pliers. I think I'm gonna have to just get in here a little bit carefully. Where do you need the wiring? It's coming from the real bottom board over here. So what I'm going to do when I wire this back in, I'm going to take the wire out of the board, the appropriate board, 
run it through to the switch outside of the front of the panel and then feed it through the hole and do it that way. There we go. There. Okay, so everything else be ready to undo. This is just all about ripping and tearing and getting to the point where you go up and put some wood on it. I went and bought some nice schluter edge, tile edge, to go around the perimeter. It's going to look pretty sweet. Okay, I put these little wee miniature clamps on here. I put a brace between, I don't know if you can see it here. I put a brace in here to stiffen this thing up. And I, it was all installed in place, so I didn't really have a, a good way to do it. So I just had these little miniature clamps. Look at those. <laughs> the two of those, I just put them on this piece. Now they have it apart, I can screw that in there properly. Uh, now I don't know if I have enough room to get that out of there. Might, yeah, there it goes. Well, that's good. So I don't have to take this piece off. That's going to make life so much easier. There, awesome. Downside is I'm going to have to go from the back side here and drill holes through there. Yikes. It's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I may have some long drill bits somewhere to reach by everything. Okay. Oops, keep grabbing that. Okay. Oh, my fall back is so wobbly. Nice flat surface. So you can see that this is kind of a pie shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this center piece first and then slide the other ones up to it. And over here, this is going to be an extra panel that's going to come out to there so you can have the clock and then the uh, um, stream deck board on there. So I'm going to stop this uh, recording for now and then get after this. And uh, yeah, see how we do. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's where we're at on the panel so far. Um, I took it a little bit further apart than you saw in the last one. I had, uh, I still had the light uh, hood on. Took that off and I took these brackets out of here that were for the speakers. And I took the little brackets out for the, uh, to mount the light hood. And uh, yeah, so got the center panel. Well, that's hopefully that's in range. Yeah, <laughs> got the center panel in here. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I got the Schluter edge in here and here, and uh, it's probably still got to be trimmed away a little bit at the bottom. I think I'm close. And so I'm just using panel bond on this middle one because there's no screws, there's no switches that are going to bind it in place. So I'm just letting that set up and uh, then what will happen is, let's see, I don't know how I can get this where you'll be able to see it. These two here, 
And what's going to happen, let's see, maybe I just turn it upside down over here. Can you still see this side? Yeah, we can. Okay, just hang on a sec. And what's going to happen is this piece is going to, this piece here is going to be the left-hand panel. The Schluter edge has to go on here, and it's got to be trimmed yet. That's going to go along there, and then there's going to be a piece along the bottom. So I've got to trim this, get it all right, and I might have to put a little bit of a, looks like, see, this doesn't line up along here quite right. If you can see that in the picture, well, you can't, it's off the camera. I have to put a little bit of a wedge in it, so i got to just trim that a little wee bit down there. And then there's going to be a piece of Schluter edge along the bottom. And the one at the top, there won't be one at the top because the hood is probably going to hide that, the light hood. So anyway, as soon as this panel sets up, uh, I'm going to get this all set. So I think I need to adjust that just slightly. I guess I should get on with that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll get some more uh, video here in a bit when we get getting these panels on. And uh, it's going to be tricky over there at that end, but we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. And uh, we'll get more uh, in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Okay. So now, um, so this panel is going to go here. And we've got to put some... Schluter edge along here, so that's going to be this piece. Oops, not that one. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh yeah, it's this one because this panel has to get cut out here. So what I'm going to do, so I know where everything is, I'm going to put the Schluter edge on. I'm going to use this uh, No More Nails and uh, glue it on here so that it's all Good, and then I can offer it up on here. I can mark the back where it has to be trimmed. And for this one, I'll mark a hole uh, where it's got to go. And I'm also going to relieve these uh, rivets more than likely. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I think they should be. So what I'll do is I'll put a little paint on here or whatever, and then put this panel on it and get the paint transfer. And then I'll just take a drill bit. I'll just go in the back and just put a little dimple in it so it lays flat. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. So we've got to put this one here and this one here. So we're going to put a little panel bond on here and glue those on. This is a No More Nails free advertising. Stuff's usually pretty good. I haven't used it for a long time in anything, but I, I did use it a lot. And I did a, a panel style oak uh, basement for my buddy's rec room. Built him a bar too. <laughs> Thank you. It's not my favorite thing working with wood. I like working with metal, but uh, it came out pretty good. And then that got dated and he took it all out 10, 15 years later. 15 years, I guess it was in there. It was pretty cool, but kind of looked like a pub. And that was the idea at the time. So you get 15 minutes to work with this stuff. Slide it around and do what you need to do with it. That gooey stuff in there. Now, I'm going to push this. And then, once we get all the glue under it, we're going to slide it around to where it's got to be. i got some glue on my finger. I'm going to be putting that on. Anything important? Now, let's see. Oh, got some glue on my thumb. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a little bit on this upper edge here. Let's take that off. Okay, let's see what we did on our miter. pretty good there. Oh, that's a little tighter. Let's see. Move this up just a bit. 
let's set it on this edge. Like that looks okay. So now it's all flat here, or is it? Let's make sure. I gotta get this detached well. You get, like I said, 15 minutes to mess with this stuff and then you're done. So that looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna smear this glue over. We'll flatten it out and it'll uh, make like an anchor on the inside of the panel. I don't want any big bumps on here that make it stick out. And we will have a look in a minute here. And just make sure everything's good. That looks okay to me. Okay, so we're gonna have to just walk away for a little bit and be patient, let that set. But while that does that, I'm gonna start planning out the other side, which is gonna be Pretty darn tricky. Let's see if I move this over here. Okay, guys, so next up is uh, I gotta start working on this panel here. This is the, so this piece is gonna go in here, but I gotta figure out where this one's gonna go first because I can trim that one to fit here. I mean, I gotta figure it out anyway. So what I'm gonna do, this one actually goes this way over and I've marked, I put tape on it because I'm gonna cut from the good side so I don't, uh, I think it's the best way to go. So I'm going to take my chops on. I'm going to come down on it on the inside of the line or just take the line out. And uh, then I'll finish it off with a knife or something or a blade. But that's going to go here. So this is going to be the stream deck. It goes in from the front. So the flange is going to be around the outside. Got to figure out how I'm going to hold it in. I haven't figured that out yet. The clock is going to go right here. That's a two inch hole. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and get on with cutting these out and uh, I'll be back. Uh, okay, so here's a little update on where we're at. Um, so I, I took a photo of this. I put some photos in just <laughs> right around now. So we've got the, uh, how I put the, the, uh, the uh, stream deck in and and the gauge, how I cut the hole and located them. And uh, so I'll let those video, those pictures run. And then uh, this is going to go, let me uh, move some stuff around here. So on the dash, oh boy, this panel is going to go, I don't know if I got my arm in the way or not, it's going to go right here. And actually what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take these out, these screws here, and I'm going to change them for, uh, I'm going to change them for, um, pop rivet so I'm just going to pop rivet that on because I don't think I need to make it removable like I do have it removable now I can take that out and those and take that off but I don't really see a need for it um, I think it may have been just what I was thinking at the time to make it removable but I'm going to make it a permanent part and then uh, let's see I'm going to turn it around show you that. oops I got this caught in here there we go that over here and we're going to flip this whole thing around so you can see it in this panel 
is going to go right here, like so. And I just need to mark it and trim it. I don't know if you sort of get an idea of that in the picture, but then all the switches and everything have to go in, of course. So that's all yet to happen, and I have to relieve the back of this panel for the rivets that are on there. So this will sit flush when those, uh, when I drill the back side of this where those rivets are. So that's coming along. So uh, I guess next thing is to, I'm going to drill here, 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 and here probably, and drill through. I just got to check and see where my little bottom board is in the back. I don't want to hit it. With the drill, I think I'm going to be okay if I come inside of these screws a little bit, put some pop rivets in, take those out, uh, fit these two panels, get them sorted, and then it'll be a question of putting the panels on here, getting them uh, to adhere. These ones, these all these three panels here, are going to have screws or sorry uh, switches going through them, which will act like a clamp as well because it'll be attached from the back through to the front and screwed in place. So um, I'm probably, I'm gonna see if I can do it without panel bond. So that would be nice so they could be removed. But um, if it's too tricky to get it in place and get everything lined up and do a whole bunch of holes and still maintain my nice seam here, uh, I will uh, put a little bit of panel bond on here and there, not a whole lot let that harden up and then go ahead and start drilling the holes. And then what I'll do for the holes is I'll have these pieces mounted uh, and I'm gonna drill from the back side, and I'm gonna clamp a piece of wood on the front to drill through too so it doesn't burst out the uh, front of the, the finish. So that's how that's all gonna happen. So onward and upward. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, I've clamped the panel in place and I've put a half inch piece of, or three eighths piece of plywood, or is that a half inch, on the other side of it. So it's sandwiched and I covered the, uh, the uh, panel finish in, in tape. So to try and keep the, hopefully it didn't burst through. So we'll see. So we just drilled through the existing holes to get the new holes plus a place for the ignition key. So let's see how that worked out. Okay, well let's uh, pull this off here and see what happened to it. Tape looks like it probably worked. Uh oh. How many holes? Oh, yeah, that's right. The all. Oh, some of them didn't go all the way through. Shoot. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. So, what we'll do, let's uh, can get the bit. Go through a hole that did go through. Which one went through the furthest? This one. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I was pushing them through lots far enough. I guess not.
Okay. Just have to uh, throw that again. So it was all of the lower ones and one of the upper ones. I think I'm going to go. That one a little more. Looks good. Okay, they're all through now. Take the tape off and see what see what we did. Oh. Uh oh, cat scratching at the back door. <laughs> Jazz, you're making the video. Gotta vacuum all this stuff up, but I got ten of them. One child still in bed. So, I'll get the shop back going here shortly. Oh, yeah, it came through nice. It didn't burst the wood at all. It's this veneer stuff that's kind of famous for. Real good, awesome. So there we have it. So the holes are for this side of the drill. We just got all of these ones over here to go, but uh, we're gonna have to leave you here for a bit because uh, I gotta prep all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just drill this side. And uh, for getting through the long spots here, I've got some extension bits. They're real long, so I can not interfere with anything here. And um, I will, uh, I'll catch you guys after we've got all the holes drilled and I think I'm going to, I'm going to see how they locate without panel bond and if the, if the uh, switches bolting through are enough to hold them in place, I'm not going to panel bond them. So that'll be a bonus. So we're getting there. It won't be too long for putting it back together. So, uh, oops, <laughs> there's stuff I put on the floor. Anyway, I'll uh, stop recording and we'll carry on again in a bit.